hi guys welcome back to tech again in this short video we will look at how to create a multiple dependent drop down list using data validation in excel here i show you a shopping menu which has three drop down menus you can see the first one is shop by category and the second drop down menu is category number one and the third drop down menu is category number two you might have seen a similar kind of uh, selection menus in online shopping sites like websites like Amazon and eBay. Let's see how we can create a similar scenario in Excel. Here I have two sheets. One is the main list and the next sheet is the data list. In the data list, I have listed down the different categories in each drop down menus. In the first drop down menu, I have the categories books as well as electronics. And if I select books in the shop by category, then it must give me the second drop down menu, which is all the books, fiction books, and editor's corner. If I select electronics, it must show me television, refrigerator, and audio. So if I do a selection on well, on the television in the second drop down menu, then it must list down the third drop down menu, which is having the content 3D, smart TV and standard. So in order to build a drop down menu list, which is dependent to each other, the first thing you have to do is you need to name each of your categories. So here I select the books and electronics that is coming under shop by category and I name in the name box shops. And in the for the books, I select all the three selections and name it books. For electronics, in a similar way, I selected all the three selections and named electronics and press enter in fact and for television i selected all the three coming under that and named televisions and press enter now if you select the name box you have all the three in fact four categories now go back to your main list Keep your selection over here and go to the option in the ribbon data and go to data validation select the data validation option go to the validation criteria list and click press equal to and use the function key f3 that will give you the name box in fact and for the shop by category you have to select the option shops click ok and again in ok now you can see you have the two options coming up for you I'll better zoom in for you and now select in fact if you keep books uh, now for the second category number one do the same steps which you have done for the first drop down menu go to data validation Go to the list option. Here you need to put in a formula which is indirect. Click equal to, type in indirect and open the braces. Keep your selection on the books. Close it. Click OK. Now if you can you can see it will display all the book category uh, selection that has to come that is all books fiction and editors corner and if I make the selection electronics it show me the other three selection that has to show television refrigerator and audio for making the third drop down list select on the category number two go to the data validation same thing go to the list option Again, put in your formula equal to indirect on the braces. Select category number one, 
close your brackets click ok so this will list you 3d smart tv and standard so it's quite easy to create a dependent drop down menus using excel data validation technique hope you enjoyed my video thanks for watching guys bye bye